Peg Fitzpatrick, and today I'm going to ask the question, how do you grow in your business if you're an entrepreneur and you wear lots of hats and you're trying to take it up to the next level? I had the opportunity to interview Marie Forleo of Marie TV and B-School, and she had some really great insights, so watch along and see what we talk about. As entrepreneurs, and you kind of mentioned your team a little bit, but as entrepreneurs, we have to wear tons and tons of different hats. So at some point to grow and expand, we have to bring on a team. Yes. What, when do you know when it's a good time to start a team and how do you find the right people to Big, work with? Big, huge, important question. From my experience, most of us wait too long. And I will mm -hmm. say, I see that mostly with women. For whatever reason, the men in my life and the men that I've coached have a much easier time going, oh, yeah, I need a team. I'm going to bring them on. They're so much more comfortable. And so many of the women that I've experienced um, try and do it all themselves and want to mm -hmm. hang on to everything as long as possible. Mm -hmm. So I would say sooner than you probably think. In terms of finding the right people, you know, there are many different methods to do that. One of the things that we do in our company now is we try and keep what's called a virtual bench. Anytime we come across anyone, like if I meet them at a networking event or anyone on my team meets someone who just has that kick-ass, driven, focused, detail-oriented, positive attitude vibe, we're like, who are you? What's going on? <laughs> so I will keep in touch with people. You know, I found some of my most key team members, they were, they were clients, they were customers uh -huh. in my program, and I yeah. watched how they behaved and I went and plucked them, and then I did my best sales job to say, <laughs> come on over here and work with me. So yeah. I think that there are so many places you can find it. You can find it on social media. You can find it through friends of friends. You can go on sites and put out, you know, one of the things we did recently was we actually put out, uh, like, basically a help wanted ad on our Instagram stories. I saw yeah. it in your Facebook page, too, a while ago. Yeah. Like, We're hiring a designer. It was quite a while ago. Yeah, so we've done lots of things. So I feel like you have to use every vehicle that's at your disposal, your mm -hmm. personal network, if you have people that you know on LinkedIn, whatever, cold call, but you've got to know what you're looking for, know the yeah. exact skill set, know what you can pay. And I would say this is a really big lesson that cost us a lot to learn. Mm -hmm. Do whatever you can to have a test period. So pay mm -hmm. people for project work, pay them for part-time work, but find a way to experiment and test. It's kind of like dating. You're not just going to go like, oh, wow, this person looks great. Let's just get married. <laughs> you would never do that. You would date, right, before you're yeah. going to put a ring on it. you got to do the same thing in this world, I believe, when it comes to hiring, especially when you don't have many resources, when you right. can't afford to make a big mess up. That could cost right. you a lot financially, legally, emotionally. Like, it's a big mess. But mm -hmm. if you can find a small targeted project to test each other out on and see if you like working together, it's the best and fastest way to find great talent. Yeah, that's a great, I have, I save things on collections on Instagram, like when I really love someone's work, like there's somebody, she posted a logo that she designed and I was like, oh, that's definitely who's making my next logo because it was just, it was like amazing. So mm -hmm. I, I do that too. I keep my eyes open for like good, good talent. Yeah, talent. yeah. It's easy to spot, right? Absolutely. You can feel it. And you yeah. can it, just observing people, you start to see who's hungry, who's driven, and who's mm -hmm. like on their game. Yeah. 